Hey guys, we are Growing Up Without Borders. And today we're going to show you how it is to cross the border between India and Pakistan. The only border you can do this with. By foot. By foot. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all started back in 2013 with a five-week trip to Europe. And since then, we've been to six continents and 121 countries. Well, it looks like Amritsar is going to have to put up with us one more day. We didn't get our visas yet, so... We're hoping that it's not going to take up to four or even 72 hours. Yeah. That'd be really bad. It's wrong count that we've only got like four days left to go to Europe. Woohoo! Which means every day that we spend longer in India is one day less in Pakistan. So we haven't booked flights back to Europe and stuff to organize all that. Ah, welcome crazy to our life times. of crazy traveling with growing up without borders. And it always seems the last case in our family. We're always the last minute family. And always That's like, why you can't ask us our plans. No, it always changes and always varies. Got to go with the flow when you're traveling, man. If not, it'd be too stressful. So we're still here. We're still in Amritsar. We yesterday had two visas approved to go to Pakistan. That was Julia's and myself. Angelique and Chloe, since they are below 18, they require parent consent forms and their birth certificates so we uploaded that although Angelique uploaded my old passport which is still showing valid so maybe they'll be okay with that we'll see um Tyler's is still not approved so we have to be back in Europe on the second because we're going to go to a really cool destination in Croatia so now the big question is, is like is it worth going to Pakistan for three days we're starting to look up flights, eh? Angelique's looking up flights. Yep. Um, to go to anywhere, eh? Found some good ones. Found some good ones. So we might pivot. We might just go straight to Europe. We might uh, go to Dubai. We might, I don't know. We don't, we don't know what we're doing. So we're kind of like, you know, like when a, an airplane's taxiing and they're just in waiting zone? That's what we're doing. But where we're staying at this hotel, they didn't have internet this morning. So we were like, not used to it for us. Having internet is like key because we can't check on our visas, we can't look at flights, like you can't do anything. And I didn't extend my data on my phone because I thought, what's the point when we're leaving? So anyway, all that to say, we don't know what we're doing yet. So stand by, we'll let you know soon. Um, this is what we're seeing outside though. This is pretty wild. So you've got down here, this guy with a horse loading up some bricks. He's gonna carry, like the horse is gonna carry the bricks. People are doing construction. There's no security or safety here, so the guys working up on that um, building, they literally don't have any harness, nothing. They sleep down there, so they were sleeping on the truck down below, showering here, like they shower right there. It's just, it's pretty wild to see the living conditions, the working conditions, and I'm sure they're not getting proper pay for what they're doing, so pretty wild when we see that. It's just shocking. Something I didn't tell you is that I also have Deli Belly. I've been here all like 30 days or more and now like something's up. But to top it all off, I just got pooped on by a bird, I think, or something. So I found this guy with water. I'm gonna go ask him to wash me off. Can I use your water? Can I use your water? Because I got a bird that pooped on me. Thank you. That's good, thank you. That's better. <laughs> We've been in places in India where it's like been kind of like more, I don't know, maybe the city centers and stuff like that. But now I feel like we're like transported into this area. Like you see all this garbage everywhere. And it's like you see, I don't know, things you probably, it's just shocking. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I think I found my pharmacy here, medical store. This is where I'm going. Um, so we just got picked up by these two guys. Hi, one who lived in Brampton for three years. Yep. <laughs> you 
meet everywhere you go here you meet people who already there have family in Brampton or whatever. Most of people. Yeah. yeah. Even like, like kids up up their high school, they all move to Brampton most of the Yeah. It's amazing. And you're going to Brampton? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know? Indian Vegas. In, oh wow. He's waiting for his offer letter from Sheraton College. Yeah. So, Sheraton yeah. College. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's so they were like, can we help you out? And we're like, uh, yeah, because Google Maps said the pharmacy was close by and it wasn't, so we had to keep going, keep going, keep going. That's where my so, yeah. mom went to college, Sheridan College. Oh. Oh. Mom, she's a nurse. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the Davies campus? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Quick break in today's video to say a big thanks for Anna Luisa for supporting our travels and for making us feel and look our best with their jewelry. If you never heard of Ana Luisa, they're timeless pieces of jewelry from anything to necklaces, rings, bracelets, anklets. You can find them in gold, in silver, any unique style you like. They are timeless, meaning you can wear them with all different types of outfits for any occasion. I received these earrings not too long ago and I've been wearing them literally every single day. I've been swimming with them, boating with them, everything, and they still are just as beautiful as day one when I got them. All their products are carbon neutral from the product to the shipping. And inside, the way they send them is actually in these very cute little eco-friendly cases that are reusable. Really cool because they've got little buttons. Once you open them up, you can reseal them and use it for any more future jewelry you get. Let's show you what we got. I decided to get this moon ring. It's blue and green. What I love is that they are tarnish free, which means whenever I wear it, I know that it will long last and it will remain silver. I got this beautiful necklace. It has this really thick kind of solid chain, but still dainty at the same time with a beautiful green stone. And I'm already wearing mine. Mine is a two-piece necklace, which looks like this. It's really pretty. I got these beautiful lightweight hooped earrings, which are very good because with curly hair, it can be hard to see normal earrings. They offer shipping worldwide. Yeah. In the US, it's actually free. I'm so surprised at how fast the jewelry actually arrives. So this is our second time ordering it, and this is one of our biggest challenges because we're often moving around, yeah. and so getting something shipped to us is not easy. And Ana Luisa nailed it each time, fast and efficient. It was absolutely surprising how fast it was. You click the link down below, Growing Up Front Borders forward slash Ana Luisa, it'll bring you right to their website, and you can see all their different jewelry. And make sure to write Without Borders 20 when you check out to get an extra 20% off. Now that we've given you a solution to find a gift for that special person, let's get back to the video. Hey guys, here's an update of kind of life recently. So, we're still in waiting mode. We don't know if we're going to go to Pakistan or not. Some of us got a visa, some of us haven't. And right now, we are kind of like on the outskirts of the city, if you will, or just in a different region. So, hi. Hello. Hello, please. Selfie really fast. Selfie, oh, selfie. selfie break. Selfie break. <laughs> so we're right now staying at a place where there's not many people where tourists come. So everyone's like, what are you doing? Do you need help? Like, why are you just walking out here? And uh, we're going to a French bakery to get some lunch. Well, we're going to go look for some. Yeah. And I'm using this as my hat. It's so hot. And Chloe took my umbrella. <laughs> yeah, when the heat is so hot, it feels like a sauna. You feel like you're burning or you're like beside a fire, you know what I mean? That feeling? Another thing is, if you didn't know, I was just like having like, I was a bit sick basically. I had like the runs and a fever. So we don't know if it was like, you know, heat stroke from being in the heat and seeing to go to the temple Chloe, and the sun. Chloe's, Chloe's theory is this because Julia took too many selfies <laughs> at the temple that she got us really sick. Well, Hello. you don't know, like, because you're in close contact with all these people, some of them are your hand shaking. You don't know if it's that or if it's COVID because there might be another COVID outbreak because we're living during pandemic times. Or it could just be deli belly. Could be deli belly from food. You never really know. Even though here in India, we've been playing it really safe. We've been staying at really nice hotels. We haven't we done really much haven't street food, much no. Street food just we to stay be at safe. the restaurant. We've been sick too many times in too many countries, so we, we really go safe on that side. Yeah. Another thing as well is we often travel with like grapeseed extract and antibacterial, antivirus, like natural medicine homeopathic and then we've got antibiotics we've got it all yeah so the day i was really sick i literally just stayed in a hotel room and just like had that and i think since i was able to rest and not move i was able to heal really fast because right now i feel much better i'm like almost 100 percent. but now <laughs> it's my mom and chloe who's starting to go ew but that's kind of like an update and we're supposed to be home in like well 
in Europe in like three days. PR, permanent residence. My passport to Canada Embassy. Really? Yeah, yeah. So my mom and dad are in Orange Hill. My mom and dad is there. As well? Oh, uh, yeah. That's amazing. So in that ATM bank machine experience, Tyler always tells people that he's from the Punjab area of Canada because in Brampton, which is just south of where Tyler's from, Orangeville, he says it's mini Punjab. And so the guy's like, I'm from Punjab. And he goes, I'm from like Brampton. He goes, oh yeah, I'm going to be living in like Orangeville every area. And then Tyler's like, I'm from Orangeville. So it's just really funny. If all goes out as planned and we do get our visas, we're going to cross the border tomorrow. And I'm thinking it might be a really good idea to leave extremely early in the morning so that we beat the heat of the day. Yeah, although I don't know what time the border opens, so we'll have to search that and check. Yeah. Because if this not... Is, it, it's just insanity. It's so hot. This, it's like being in Florida or something. It's no worse. Hey? It feels like you're in a sauna. We had one experience where it was super dry, hot, like this was Tet Mozambique. And technically Darwin, Australia was like probably like the snow. Yes, yeah, similar. Yeah. Yep, we are now feeling the heat that people told us about in India, just as we're about to leave. <laughs> Thankfully, it's only been the last few days of our trip, not like the entire trip. If not, that'd been awful, seriously. All right, let's go check out this one. This is called the Bon Gâteau Bakery and Patisserie Place. That looks really good. If it stands up to its name, I think it's going to be delicious. So good here. Update, update. We just had an amazing lunch and Chloe just got approved. Yeah, Angelique like just got it. approved. Yeah, so now we have four correct visas to get into Pakistan. Now we're just missing Tyler's and they just sent us a message, which means they're working right now. Good time of day to go get what they need back. But basically they need proof of his residency. So we need to go submit the documents, which will be interesting because technically we left Switzerland for over two and a half years. So technically he's exited the country for that long, but I'll still submit what we have and see if that goes, see if it goes through. Off we go to the border to go into Lahore. First uh, challenge of the day, we're trying to get uh, the correct price. So Uber says a certain price and of course we're trying to charge more. So here we go. Another adventure awaits us today. See you, Julia. See you at the border. Uh, hi. Tyler, Julia and Angelique are in the car ahead of us. That's our driver. <laughs> and it's our last day here in India. And I can't believe we're crossing into Pakistan. So now the big question is, is will they let us in the country? I think so. So if you're wondering, is it possible to cross the border? We're about to find out. We will soon show you the whole process, how it's done and how you can do it too. Tall, you're all squished back there, eh? All our luggage. And now our souvenirs. We've got a couple souvenirs, which we never take with us, but we had to because it was a gift. for uh, their car to be able to get through. And that's how it's done. Okay, here we go. So Tyler's at the gate post with the Indian military. Um, we'll see what happens. Our drivers went up with their IDs, so I think they need to present their IDs as well to be able to get through this gate. 
okay, this is a funny car ride because the guy keeps playing the same song over and over again. So we're like, we might as well dance with it and have some fun with it. It's the very popular um, musician, kind of like rapping, rapper, whatever guy, who was murdered, um, which is very sad. So he was only like 28 years old. Yeah. Very young. And yeah, it's very sad. The story goes that his um, manager moved to Australia and was involved with gangs and the gang leaders and the guys thought that this artist helped him get his visa to go to Australia and so they came and they shot him a whole bunch of times and the guy is actually in Canada like the guy who murdered him so that's the story very sad very young guy and yeah so here we go we're gonna cross this border looks like the cars are gonna be able to go with us at least part of the way hopefully to at least to the to the point where we cross over which will be nice so we don't have to walk like a kilometer or whatever it is um, in the heat of the day normally it'd be fine but you know it is it's like probably 40 degrees out there so very hot I think we'll have to pay these guys a little bit more money because they are going out of our way and it's really nice it's nice to like have everything kind of like not taking care of because they're not taking care of it but like just bringing us right to the very end you know they could have just yeah. dropped us off we could have walked from here and I don't know how far that would be so very nice so we're not sure what this building is but um let's see oh passenger terminal all right so Hello. we're passing the passenger terminal Hello. yay we're getting driven around hopefully as close as possible to the other side everyone's getting their luggage on to the bus this is the bus Bring us to Pakistan. So uh, I think, no, it's okay, it's okay, we got it. So we're gonna bring our luggage on the bus because I think there's no space in the back. So it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. They're all like, let me help you, let me help you. Look at they're punching each other. It's so stressful, man. Took it on, so we're just waiting. Hey, everyone, rush on. So hot. Hello. Hello, We got one more passport control uh, from the yeah, Indian <laughs> Army checking passports again. And it's a five minute drive to get to the Pakistani border. I literally have beads of water like dripping down the back of my shirt, like everywhere. <laughs> it's like you're in a pool. It is crazy hot. I gotta put my hair up. It's like, ugh. Uh, five and my husband. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, Switzerland and he's Canadian. Canada. Canada and Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Ooh wee, and you can smell the smells because everyone else, not just us, is really hot in here. <laughs> Get the air coming. <laughs> it's starting to hit me. I can't believe we are going to Pakistan. This has been on our list for a long time and it feels like it was like the impossible for some reason, like just like the unknown in one of these countries that not too many people go to. Um, yeah, so it's just the unbelievable. These are the showgrounds. Yeah, we're coming by them, eh? Then we might go through them. So we made a whole video on the whole show. If you want to go check it out, we're putting the link here. But here's some clips of what they do every single night. And they have 70,000 people that go to this show. And it's kind of like a show off between the Pakistani um, authorities, like the army and the Indian army. And they do this like show, the whole thing. And, and thousands, like 70,000 people show up for it. It's quite an amazing experience. It's as if we're going like through, um, I don't know, Jurassic World or something because we're going through this like big massive gate. Oh, now know. we're turning around. Where are we going? Now it feels like we're going backwards on some roller coaster. It is so are bumpy. We walk it's like some safari. Oh, are we walking? I think we're going to walk across now. The actual area. No way. Oh, I guess oh, we're, oh, yeah, yeah. we're literally going to walk across the same border where the show was. This is so cool. Oh, 
200 rupees. I can take that for you. Okay. Okay. you want it? It's like walking in a sauna and trying to do a workout at the same time. Oh, go okay, get three hundred dollars, Zako. I think three hundred is a good price. They'll take the luggage. We're only going like two hundred meters, but it's all good. So now this is going into the Pakistani customs. Let's see what we are going to pay for a taxi. Air conditioned. They're telling us it's air conditioned. Just waiting here, immigration. So hot, man. So sick. Sit down and have a seat. So you need that whole thing to yourself? I don't want to. I haven't traveled during the, like the July during these full orders. So nice because they actually have a water fountain here. Oh, look at this. You can see the ceremonial side all the way over there. So cool. That's how close we are. So there's a gentleman helping us with our papers and immigration. Here they have this like water fountain. So this is good. Apparently clean water. Ah, so important to stay hydrated because uh, dehydration is a real thing here. I'm getting a little concerned. So. We're uh, at the border, nothing major, but this is the bathroom. And I don't think Chloe's gonna handle it too well. Mm, toilet looks okay. At least they have filtered water. Chloe won't drink that either because she doesn't trust the filtration system. So interesting traveling with the kids and all the dynamics of it. Everyone's got their ups and their downs and if it wasn't so hot, I think it would be okay. But because the heat's getting to everybody, we're waiting, 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 waiting. Been here for a good half an hour. I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna take. They haven't even looked at our passports yet. So let's just hope it gets fast and we can get into air conditioned vehicle and get to Lahore. We got a video of this. I do not know how this is absolutely possible, but we are crossing paths yet again, this time in Pakistan. Like, what? We're almost in Pakistan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, almost, yeah. almost, almost. And we won't say we're in until we're in, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so far, so, far, so cool. good, though. Uh, Kiwis so traveling, Canadian Swiss. Now yeah. we call ourselves Swiss Canadian Kiwis. Yeah. 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 You uh, guys are out honoring Kiwis. I can't Kiwis. believe it. Like, I can't so believe that's it. so cool. That was perfect timing. So, where are you through. going? We're going to Lahore. Yeah, us too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go party in Lahore. We're probably going to be at the same places anyway in Lahore as well. Awesome. Oh, so cool. Um, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, is it hot? Yeah. Wow. wow. I seriously can't believe it. So if you didn't know, we met them up at the Taj Mahal. Go check that video out. But what a coincidence. And we were going to come early this morning, but we I know. kind of worried. And like the fact that our visas, like, it took a while, with days, you know, and then we weren't sure if we are going to meet up here. Like, how's it possible? Amazing. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hola. Hola. In Turkish, Hosh Gildin is Pakistan. Chinese, Hoi Li, Zai Pakistan. <laughs> In Arabic, Marhaba Bekum Fi Pakistan. In Japanese, Kunichiwa. 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 In Spanish, Hola. Hola. In Chinese, Nihao. Nihao. Finally, that Pakistan. Oh, you're good, man. <laughs> in Pakistan, in Pakistan. English, welcome to Pakistan. Thank you. So far, that was the biggest welcome and warm welcome, I should say, that we have ever received at a border crossing. The guy was explaining to us the different cities. We sat in his office. He was so nice and so friendly. He explained the way the people are gonna be, how they're gonna be intrigued. And it was just like this like relaxed way. I feel almost like you could say it's similar to the way the New Zealanders are. It was just very, very relaxed, so very nice. Now, time to negotiate the taxi. We're going to go for the stuff already in a small taxi, which will make us have two taxis. Oh, well, let's just see here. Okay. We drop you in the right place. Okay, how much? Five thousand, he asked. Okay, hold on. Yes, yes, yes. One sec, one sec, one sec. Hard, hard one sec, I have to see the price. Five thousand, how much is that? In because 
petrol is much expensive. He drop you there. Thirty one Canadian dollars and how far is it, Tyler? Thirty one Canadian dollar. How much is it? Twenty five K? Yeah, it's good. Less than good price he asked you, yeah. yeah. Um Okay, but we can't fit everything into that truck. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. No, no problem. problem. We'll fix it all. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, छोटा नगर रखे ये ना रख ये ना रख ये ना रख ये वो रख पतला है या वो पैक्ड इन लाइक सर्दीन्स the check-in process, so we went through maybe uh, two more checks. They control your passport, they control it again, they write down your numbers, they check your hotel, they ask you what your job is, and that's it. And then the guy was so nice and so friendly, so amazing. Now we're here. It's so exciting. It's unbelievable. And this is a special shout out to you, Bieber. We call you Bieber, we know that's not your name, but we're here. So far what I'm noticing is you've got a big highway road on each side, and then where the markets and stalls are, it has enough space for people to like pull over so you don't get as much congestion as I thought you would. At least this is the road we're on. So it's feeling like it's flowing pretty nicely compared to other places. Like the size of the city, there's 11 million people who live here, so it's huge. But yeah, see how big it is? So far, everyone's so welcoming. Like the bank guy wanted to. I know. The bank guy wanted to offer us water, that was so nice. Tyler went to the ATM and he's like, come on, I'm gonna give you water. And then he's like, hello sisters. That was so sweet of him. Well, that wraps up our journey getting into Pakistan and crossing the border by foot. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it's helpful for you in case you're planning on doing the same thing. But wait, there's so much more coming. In our next video, we're gonna be taking you on a deeper tour of the city of Lahore, show you all the captivating things, the hidden gems, the iconic landmarks, and the lively spirit of this enchanting city. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.